the new narrative that has to be structured. They've got to come up with a new story because these two stories, uh-uh. You know, and they can't go back up to that top line, like I said, because in the betrayed partner's mind, that wasn't safe. And the betraying partner's like, no, I really meant that. No, that was real. No, I really felt that then. No, we really did have a good time on that trip or whatever. And the betrayed partner's like, uh-uh. I call that the weekend at Bernie's move. Y'all remember that movie where they're carrying around the dead corpse? It's dead. That top line, that old story, that old marriage, old relationship is dead. We gotta find something new. This is where we gotta hope in some resurrection. A new story, a new shared understanding of the past that gives us that shared trajectory for the future. Now, how are we gonna do that? Well, from the present, we're gonna look back at the past while aiming at the future. Now this is, here we get into quantum physics. No, not really, but kind of. So I read a study back in like 2017 that said that every time you recall a memory, you alter the memory. It's altered in light of our present affective state and the other uh, uh, networks that are activated in the brain and neurons that fire together, wire together. And so that it's just always little slightly altered. So if every time I recall the birth of my child now, I'm thinking about how my partner was acting out, how's that memory gonna get changed? It's gonna be more and more connected to pain, to, to fear, to loss, to uh, threat, right? Well, when I first read that study, I was like, dang, what do we do? I mean, how, what? And this thought dropped in my head, maybe you could leverage that for good. If I can have a betrayed partner purposefully activate a very painful memory from the past and in the present experience something relieving, healing, and good. That will now be linked to this memory of the past. And you do that over and over and over again, you're, you're setting a new trajectory for the future.